Hello guys, welcome to the world of WWE. Today we're doing a review for NXT. I've watched the show. This is just a little. Uh, this is just to help me with certain uh, stuff. So yeah, so I've watched the show. It was really good for a one hour show, I think. And we kick off with Johnny Gargano. It's just got a name of the super the star there. So we kick off with Johnny Gargano. The, coming out to accelerate his exit time. I think he's turned face now. He said he's Johnny Wrestling again. Which he's I know he could be a great baby face. Then Tommaso Chirpy came up. Basically just saying, let's be dear. Let's just forget all our history. Let's just forget that we wanted to kill each other back at NXT New Orleans. And all our other matches. Let's forget we wanted to kill each other pretty much. And just be friends again. Because that's logic. No, but it was a very good segment. Then Velveteen Dream comes out, and he basically says that I want to. He basically looks like he's going for uh, another opportunity for against the Master Chairman because he won the World Class Tournament. Then he goes after uh, Johnny Gargano. So pretty cool. It doesn't make sense why you choose the mid card title over the main title. So that doesn't really make sense. But it was still a cool. Uh, spot none the less. Then we had um, we had a member of Forgotten Songs at Sons. I forgot his name versus like Mansour or something. It was a pretty good. It was a pretty good squash match. It was done in like a couple of minutes. It was okay. Next up, it was Drew Gulak coming from Two or Five Life ten for tonight to go against Eric Booty. Again, a Hagen? Yeah, I don't pronounce it. Who's basically this weird dancer guy, which in NXT, in the small arena, it's actually quite a good gimmick, but like Noah Hope would say, it was, it was just a bit fun. But as soon as uh, you get, to, if this character does anything well, if he gets to the main roster, he's gonna not be that good. But it was a cool man. Drew Gurdjieff like, squashed him. He's like, I'm not happy that I'm giving this joke. I want another match. I want another match. To have. And then Matt, then Matt Riddle came out, and I was really impressed with Matt Riddle. This man, these guys had a match. It made me realize that Drew Gulak's a really good like wrestler. These guys had a great match. Very get very fast paced. I enjoy. It was probably the best match of the night, and Matt Riddle ended up. It was submission special versus submission special, and Matt Widow ended up making Drew Gulak, Gulak tap out. Pretty, it was a good moment. Then they, it was another, then they announced in two weeks' time it would be Johnny Gargano defending the NXT North American Championship against Velveteen Dream. And there was this little thing where, uh, like, Kathy, they announced, the, the, announced uh, the a backstage interviewer. Basically, was about to get to Ricochet, ask him about his faults after losing his title. Then Alcon says, "You should be giving me. I'm next in line for the title." Then Ricochet's like, "No, no, I'm. No, no, I beated you at the pay per view. I beat you at the NXT pay per view around the summer, so I'm having to win the title. So next week, they're gonna have a match for the title. So yeah, I I have a feeling it'll be a great match. I'm quite excited for it. Next up, it was." Bianca Bella versus Kairi Sen and Io Shirai versus Shayna Baszler, Shifa and Duke. It was a pretty good match. I'm a big fan of um, Shayna Baszler, but so far I've watched War last week. I've not been a big fan of Shifa and Duke. I do like oh, Kairi Sen, Io Shirai and Bianca Bella. I wonder, is Bianca Bella still a heel? Because basically, this match was pretty good, and it ended with the Io Shua, and basically, Bianca Bear did that finish up, but then they broke up the pin. Apparently, there's these new rules that if you attack the legal powers, you would get disqualified, which they're going to forget that in like two weeks, so it's it's going to it's gonna be fine. Um, plus, of um, you can only break up a pin once for your team, which made no sense because it's pretty much teamwork fail. Team, tag team wrestling is supposed to be work, working in a team, there's no teamwork. 
there was still a pretty good match. Uh, there was a problem with Bianca Bear, uh, hit a finisher, but then they broke it up. But then a tag was made, and Io Shirai dealt with the other with Sh- Shafar and Juku on the outside. Kari Sane did. Basically jumped off and dealt with him. Then Io Shirai pinned the NXT Women's Champion. Baron Kamehameha was, uh, was a bit like annoying, like I wanted to do it. So she's still kind of a heel. I think she's like a heel. And Io Shirai, who I've been quite impressed with her appearances in Royal Rumble and stuff. And last week when she teamed up with um, Kavi Sane to defeat Shafar and Duke. So yeah, it was a good end. It was an interesting end. I'm not sure where they're really going to go at the... At, um, at the big NXT pay-per-view around the rest of May weekend, is it going to be a triple threat? Baszler versus Io Shirai versus uh, Bianca Belair? Maybe. But yeah, I personally really enjoyed this episode of NXT. I would give it 8.5 out of 10. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.